Hi, I'm Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. Today I'm here with Joel Freudman, the co-founder, president, and CEO of True Precious Metals. Uh, symbol is TRU on the TSX Venture Exchange. How are you today, Joel? Good, Chris. Yourself? <laughs> I'm great. Uh, True has been around for a while, uh, but had a recent focus on Newfoundland gold exploration. What, has, uh, what have you done over the last year? So over the past year, we built from a standstill about this time last year, really in August, September, um, did an aggressive property acquisition spree, picked up about five properties in five months. That was mostly late 2020. And into early this year, picked up our flagship asset, Golden Rose Project in central Newfoundland. We've also done two financings, raising a cumulative $7 million. Uh, and we now have a five property portfolio covering about 34,000 hectares, all in central Newfoundland. We've also built out a team alongside that and are currently running exploration. Oh, great. Yeah, there's been a lot of activity in the Atlantic Gold Belt uh, and specifically on the island of Newfoundland. Um, and, uh, you know, there's been lots of uh, companies who have reported some uh, large resources as well as some really good sort of what we call bonanza style grade uh, intercepts. Um, where are your key projects located? I think what's important is that given that this is mineral exploration, the location and geological prospectivity of your projects is key. So we're not just in the central Newfoundland gold belt. We actually have our two, two of our core properties, uh, Golden, the Golden Rose project and the Twilight Gold project. They're both specifically along the Cape Ray Valentine Lake Shear Zone, which is a known deposit bearing structural corridor. You can think of it as a line or a street that runs through Newfoundland. We have two projects along this corridor. There are also two significant deposits located uh, along this corridor as well. So we're on a known deposit bearing structure, uh, which is kind of the right real estate for us in terms of uh, our core properties. Mm -hmm. And are you near any existing um, projects that of, of note? Yeah, uh, I think Golden Rose, which is our flagship asset, what, what's key about its location is we're sandwiched between actually the two major deposits along the shear zone. On the one side of us is a company called Marathon Gold, they have their Valentine Gold project, which is 4 million plus ounces. They continue to add ounces kind of every day with infill drilling. They're literally our next door neighbors. Uh, it's about 10 kilometers between parts of our property and theirs. So you couldn't ask for a better location. We're right beside the biggest undeveloped gold resource in Atlantic Canada. And on the other side of us is a company called Matador Mining. They're Australian listed. They have an 840,000 ounce deposit. So again, we're kind of sandwiched between two gold deposits. Uh, I think the two largest ones on the island in Newfoundland. Um, and that certainly puts us in a great position in terms of the uh, exploration for us to find gold on our property, which covers about 45 kilometers of strike length along this shear zone. So it looks like you have a fairly good district style uh, size project. Um, and it looks like you have uh, some good property to work with. Um, you know, exploration companies themselves thrive because of, of the projects themselves, but also, you know, they need funding. Uh, you need to have some activity and, and you need the people. So you, you mentioned you raised almost $7 million this year. So let's focus on the activity side. Uh, what are you going to do with that money? Because uh, you recently released some drill results on the Twilight project. Uh, how did you fare? Sure. We, the, we actually, our most recent raise in June, which was $3.5 million, was an entirely institutional round. Uh, Eric Sprott came in as a shareholder, as well as a couple of flow-through funds. So we're happy to have them in the shareholder base. Uh, that all that money has to go in the ground because it's flow through. Yeah. So we put uh, a significant amount towards gold and rose, but also to our twilight gold project. Again, both along the same shear zone. We just released our, our two, first two drill holes from the twilight gold drilling program. Uh, we have 10 more to go. Part of the reason for the delay in rollout is the assay labs are so backed up in Newfoundland because everyone's sending in their drill intercepts. Yeah. It just takes time for the results to come back. Yeah. Um, you know, we're pleased with the first two holes. We got a couple of decent intervals here. I mean, number one, we hit gold. That's always a good start. And then yeah. number two, there was good continuity along these holes. So we got two intercepts, both that are roughly 10. They're both over 10 meters, both slightly over a gram per ton. Um, and there was a, some small, a higher grade or slightly higher grade intercepts, you know, two, two-ish meters, two and a half grams per ton. So this is good for a start. And we're still waiting for another 10 holes to come back to get a sense of really uh, what we might have along the structure that runs through the property. And that's, they're in the lab right now. You're, you're just waiting for the results, correct? Yeah, that's correct. We, we executed the entire program during the month of June, sent in all the samples on a rolling basis through June and July. And so we should probably be seeing the next 10 holes roll back to us from the lab 
I'd like to say late this month, but realistically throughout September, we should be getting results and we'll release them in batches on a rolling basis as we get enough data. And uh, how deep are you drilling? We, we didn't actually go all that deep. Uh, previously, there had been a very shallow drilling program about 20 years ago. So we were trying to test the structure and get a sense of whether it's continuous at depth. Um, I think most of the deepest holes were, uh, we had a couple that were around 300 meters, but mostly till about 200 meters. We wanted to make sure with this initial drill program that we intersect the knowing goal structure and further expand it so we can get a good sense of what we're dealing with. And then that would warrant, you know, perhaps a follow on drilling program with a better handle on what we already know is under the ground at, at deeper depths than had previously been drilled. Yeah. So you mentioned you, you've raised some flow through funds. And so what other exploration activities are you going to do for the rest of the year? Well, we've, we've done some basic exploration work at uh, three of our uh, earlier stage properties. One of them had some visible gold in the soils, which is always nice. Um, but I think what's really, you know, most exciting, what's ultimately going to be one of the main catalysts or value drivers for our companies is this flagship gold and rose asset. We got it from Altius, their TSX listed company valued at 700, 800 million market cap. These guys are a big time project generator and royalty company. So we're very lucky to get a property from them. They're one of our largest shareholders. And again, this is the property Golden Rose that's right between the two gold deposits. So since late June, I'd say, we've been running a whole bunch of surface level work there. We've had people prospecting, mapping, soil sampling. We've done an airborne geophysical survey. Uh, we picked, we've, we've built out the project as well. We've more than doubled its size through acquisition. And so in, including there as well, some land that had gold grains uh, that we found at surface that our guys found on a due diligence visit. And so we're going to continue to explore at surface over the next month, two months, uh, with as well as work with the technical service provider to delineate drill targets uh, at, at the known, there's a known zone there that's already been drilled, uh, delineate drill targets there for a drill program coming up starting around October, uh, as well as uh, seeing whether we could make a new gold discovery at this, uh, this new area we picked up that has the gold grains. And in addition, part of the, the surface level work is to build a pipeline of future targets for future exploration. So that this is really like a turnkey project for a mining operation. Well, it looks like you have a great team and, and, and lots of activity to keep investors interested uh, for the rest of the year. Uh, uh, thanks for your time today, Joel. Uh, and I look forward to following your company's progress. Thank you, Chris. We look forward to rolling out drill results and drilling news over the rest of this year. Great. Have a great day.